Man, that is some incredible video of a big rig crash that shut down the 805 for hours this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Griffith. Nice to have you with us on this Friday midday. I'm Coastal Patel. A 1.10 News reporter Hannah Mullins was able to stand in the middle of the 805. She's live above lanes at University with the driver who survived that disaster that you just saw. It is, it, it's amazing how he survived that. It's certainly hard to put words to it. Now, this freeway was a mess when we were out here. For as far as you could see, you can see traffic is moving along just fine. But what we all keep saying it is amazing. Two people made it out alive. This startling crash caught on camera. And this semi didn't just slam into a car. Here's a closer look. We're told a man was outside this car trying to remove a piece of trailer lodged under his car as the big rig barreled right for him. When the semi hit the brakes, it started snaking, striking him, his car, and another car on the shoulder. And I was trying to call, call home to tell him when I was in the accident. Next thing you know, I get hit by this, this uh, cement truck. Bill, can you hear me? This man looked lifeless, slumped over the curb. You see him, he goes under the wheels, he pops out on the other side, and, you know, he was still conscious, barely conscious, but, I mean, he, he, was, he was alive. Paul Andreg, a freelance photographer who works with local stations like 10 News, shot the video. It's an amazing story in itself of, of survival that someone was, was run over by, you know, something so huge and survived, but for, for it to be captured on video just makes it, you know, even more amazing. The chaos continued as cars sped by and swerved to avoid crashing. CHP says it started when a car on the 805 southbound smashed into a traffic sign, launching the trailer and a pole over the barrier and onto the northbound lanes. That sparked a crash so frightening it may just be a miracle this man left in an ambulance. Again, the man on the shoulder thinks those airbags saved his life. The other who was taken to the hospital, we're told, is in acute condition. We're live in City Heights. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.